Hello and welcome back to Virtue's Last Reward, and welcome back to the archives, where I last left off the episode, or the last left off the previous episode, I should say. Uh, I got some brain food in me now, uh, so maybe I can actually read. Uh, who knows? Let's go and escape. Presumably the lock for the door. Right now, it says lock. You guys ready? I'm gonna open the door. Go ahead. I'm all set. Then here we go. Three, two, one. And let's go meet up with Dio, who I guarantee is gonna be accessing the next AB room again. Maybe asshole he is. Should be heading into the warehouse to see the white doors. Is this another warehouse? It looks like it. Just like the one on floor A. There's graffiti on the wall here too. Mm-hmm. It's something different though. Memento Mori if the ninth lion ate the sun. Did they make a mistake? Uh, that isn't how you spell it. They added that E to ninth, but why? Yeah. It is weird. What does it mean? Well, I think Memento Mori is Latin for something like remember death or don't forget your mentality. That other part, I mean, I assume it's just what it says on the tin. A conditional relating to whether or not a lion has eaten the sun? Uh, yeah. But what on earth does that mean? Um, if the ninth lion ate the sun, I think... I think what it is, is that I have to use Memento Mori or something, and maybe, possibly, I'm just, I'm just thinking out loud with the flow. I'm sorry I'm, uh, making it visible for over here. I think, was this where you access, um, this is definitely where I access with Fi, and then I have to type in that username and password, but is this where I have to type in the one thing where I got the password from K? MLK, uh, uh, Machiavelli, or whatever the other letters are, they're, they're in my phone. I took a picture of it. But, I don't remember if, oh boy, I don't remember if that was the room that had the lion with two heads. I couldn't remember if that was the room, or if there was a different, or if there was a different room that had a lion, lion with two heads. Oh well. It just seems like gibberish. Agreed. Whatever it means is beyond me. Oh. But I'm just thinking, like, ninth is weird, and... Like, does it mean, like... Because... Every second round has had a lion in it? Is that right? I think? Maybe there were a few times where there wasn't a lion. Actually, yeah, in the Gollum Bay, when I went with Alice and, uh, Clover, I don't think there, there was a lion there, was there? Maybe not, who knows? There, there are so many rooms that I can't remember when there was just a tiny little decal on the wall of a lion with two heads. Look at that door over there. Doesn't it look just like the one on the other floor? Correct. Yeah, but there isn't anything written on this one. And there's no indicator or control panel to open it. Yeah, there's a big nine on the other door. I guess that means this door isn't important. I don't see anything that looks like it might open it either. Yep. Nothing. Not opening. Of course it isn't. I mean, look at this thing. It's solid steel. Well, how do you open it then? From the other side, maybe? The other side? Hey, what's the deal with those doors over there? The ones that are glowing white. Do you think they could be chromatic doors? There are three of them. I don't think I know. Hmm. Yeah, I think you're right. See? They've got those little boxes. These must be the next set of chromatic doors we're supposed to go through. But they're all the same color. Well... For all the other doors, we had to add colors together to make another color. In this case, 
We probably just have to make white instead. Suddenly, the voice of the announcer echoed through the warehouse. Lovely. An ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until ambidex game polling closes. What? How the hell did that happen? Someone on one of the other teams must have opened one. Hmm, I wonder who. All they'd need is one of the moon keys. Why would they do that without waiting for the rest of us? We can ask them when we get there. Come on. Unfortunately, we know that not everybody receives the hair or a few more rules for you. Mm hmm. Hmm. What other mysteries are still unsolved at this time? Quark is still okay in this version, I just remembered, because he, uh, before talked to Tenmyoji about how he should have a say in what doors they should go through. I just remembered that. So is Quark gonna start acting funny now, or what? We leapt out of the magenta door and into the warehouse. There stood Tenmyoji, Dio, and Alice. Hey! What the hell is this? Why'd you open up one of the AB rooms before the rest of us got back? Alice and I haven't done anything. Dio apparently felt he didn't need to wait. <laughs> you got a problem? Yes! Yes, I do have a problem. Why? I don't remember saying anything about waiting until everyone got back to open the AP rooms. Are you kidding me? We didn't talk about it because we thought it was like a common sense. Sigma's God, right. I wish we would go just slightly faster. We were able to get back quickly, but the others could still be stuck somewhere. No sooner were the words out of her mouth. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, okay a Quark is going to be acting You're weird. here. Did something happen? Yeah, he went through the infirmary door. Yes, it's Quark, you see. He... What? What happened to Quark? He collapsed. It happened so suddenly. We were just searching our room. What? Please, you must hurry to the infirmary. What this rooms did you guys go in? You should go. Oh, no. I love how my concern is no longer about Quark surviving because all these different routes of whether or not he... Actually, has he even died once? No, 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 there was one time where he did end up stabbing himself, but that was when all the other bodies were stacked on top of one another. One another. Tenmyoji shoved Kay aside and leapt through the yellow door. The rest of us exchanged a few startled looks, then ran off after him. Quark, come on, kid. Get a hold of yourself. Tenmyoji grabbed Quark's shoulders and began to shake him desperately. It was Clover who stopped him. Hey, what are you doing? He's sick, and we don't even know what's wrong with him. What if you make him worse? I feel as if, like, this is skippable territory. <laughs> then what am I supposed to do? Yep, here comes Luna scanning him. Uh, do -do -do -do, or what are we talking about? Uh, did I find anything to, uh, counteract? Uh, ah, that's right, okay. So we already know the existence of Accelivere, but I should be able to find something in the archives? No, that was just piles and piles of books and paper. Nothing even remotely like medicine there. What about you, Kay? Was there any medicine in your room? I'm terribly sorry. There was nothing of the sort in the garden. Garden, gotcha. Plenty of vegetation, but unfortunately, no medicine. Oh god. He's... He's going to... Oh god, no. Oh, what the hell just happened now? Oh, it's the same thing. Look, just to be sure. Where did the three of you go? The pantry. 
pantry. Okay. There was tons of food everywhere, but it's Salivir, nothing. I feel like I've been in every room thus far. Right? Ten Miyoji slumped to the ground. For a moment, there was silence. Quark? Okay. Quark! Here we go. Oh. And once again, Radical Six takes over for Quark. And... The scalpel is now in her hands. Lovely. We go searching for Alice. <sighs> no one here, huh? Damn! Where did she go? No point in complaining. I just need to look somewhere else. I turned and headed toward the exit. I think I'm gonna run into her upstairs in the botanical garden again. Can't quite skip. Maybe it's just in the transition. I can't skip right away. Who knows? Going in through the red door. Should be headed toward the pantry, right? That's open over here? Yes. And this technically should be all new. So this is the pantry, huh? Alice, Tenmyoji, and Dio search this room. Nothing here either. We need to find her quick, or she's gonna do something bad. If she loses it like Quark did, then nobody's around to stop her. There's gotta be one where she does take her life while she's out and about. Well, no, she technically did at one point or another. Shit, I need to hurry. I decided to try the garden, where Fi, Quark, and Kay had gone after passing through their door. Mm-hmm. And it just goes right back to the elevator. Oh, so there's a chance that I miss? Oh, no. Okay. Go through the blue door, and this would lead to... What? I don't know... Oh, the garden, yeah. And that was the big room to the right. Technically to the left when looking at the doors. But at the map view on the right. The first thing I noticed when I stepped inside was the smell. Plant life was everywhere, and the air was filled with a fresh scent of growing, underlaid with the sweet, dry tones of dead leaves underfoot. All the air outside had been dry and harsh, and here it was warm and wet, like a forest after a spring rain. Huh. Did I ever know that these were here? Just like Kay said. Plants and stuff everywhere. And the two of them should be in here. Damn. She's not here either. Okay, what about the bomb strapped to the tree? This is bad. We've been searching for Alice for a while, and I'd found nothing. I hoped that nothing had happened to her, but... Ooh. Okay. I asked for it, and I think I'm getting it. I searched every corner of floor B. She was nowhere to be seen. And did I, I never ran into anyone on floor B at all. Huh. This is pointless. I should just get back to floor A. Maybe someone else has found her. I don't like this. As much as I don't like the exploration of everybody else dying, I don't like how this one is so drastically different. But this is what I was asking for. Ask and you shall receive. I'm headed to the crew quarters. Okay. Interesting. 
Why did I go here of all places? Doesn't look like anybody's here. I should have a look in the rooms. Well, I called it. <laughs> Alice! And Luna's not here. The first thing I saw when I stepped through the door was the blossom of red on her chest. It was almost like getting punched. I stopped short, my body refusing to move. No. Why did this happen? I forced one shaking foot forward, then the next. My legs began to wobble, and I put a hand against her against the wall to steady myself as my heart thundered in my chest. Calm down. Calm down. This looks pretty bad, but you don't actually know anything yet. Eh. That's right. Maybe it's not too late. Maybe we can still save her. Then at last, I pressed my fingers to her neck, and those hopes were dashed. No pulse. Clearly, she wasn't breathing either. Her pupils had dilated hideously, making her face seem somehow inhuman. No. Oh. Embedded in her chest was a scalpel. I was no doctor, but judging by the angle, it looked like it had pierced her heart. Had someone stabbed her? No. What if she... Yep. We're all going to die. No. No. Saw it with Quark, and now it fully came to be with Alice. Something in my brain snapped. <clears throat> I had to, at least once. A scream claw this way out of my body, taking my mind with it. The last thing I felt was my body slumping to the floor as the world went dark. When I came to, I was floating in a field of nothingness. Game over? What? Immediately? Where the hell is everyone else? What? What? Oh. But that was a game over one. Weird. Huh. Okay. So... Now what? Why would it have been a game over if I just came across her body? Misa, no understand. Um, I guess let's go back down the ally route and see what I unlocked here. Infirmary, there's. There isn't enough antiviral medication. Lock number four. Do I wish to jump? Yes. All right, please pay attention, everyone. You need to hear this. The Atom has finished scanning Alice. What did it say? Her results are identical to Quark's. She has also been infected with Radical Six. Mm-hmm. This is one of the routes that we found her passed out, I believe? Yeah. On her way back, Phi had gone off to retrieve the rest of the participants. Seven sets of eyes widened as Luna spoke. Oh no. No! What's going to happen to her? I don't want to skip immediately to, like, where the route starts to deviate, but I don't know what's gonna happen here. Like I said before, there's only one way to cure Radical Six. 
There's a special antiviral treatment. Do you know what immunoglobulin is? Immunoglobulin? <laughs> it's another name for antibodies. Some people have antibodies that can fight off Radical Six. Those antibodies are the basis for Excelivir. <laughs> Wait, what about those pods in the treatment center? Can't we just stick them in those? Right. I thought of that too, so I went and took a closer look at them. Unfortunately... They can't cure it. Correct. They can suppress the symptoms for a while, but they can't kill the virus itself. The only way we can help Alice and Quark is if we can find some Excelivir. But the pods will keep them from getting any worse, right? Yes. Well, then what are we waiting for? One of you, grab Alice. We're going to the treatment center. As he spoke, Tenmyoji moved over to Quark and lifted his small, unconscious body off the bed. Quark shifted slightly as Tenmyoji moved him, and something fell out of his pocket with a soft clink. Oh yeah, that's right. Quark had the Excelivir this time around, but it was only one vial. So how do we get to... Oh, do we inject one and then we go over to the laboratory and then that person that we injected it with will now have the antibodies in them so then we can make another? Is that how we're doing it? I bent down slowly and picked it up. Is this... medicine? What? Well, what is it? Hold on. There's a name on the label here. Excel... Excel of... Excelivir! You found it, Sigma! That's the one thing that can cure Radical Six. Uh, why did Quark have it? Perhaps he found it earlier. Uh, this was in the l Was this in the lab? Just the one bottle? Was that right? Where did I find it before? Earlier when? We explored the laboratory. Okay, yeah, it was the reward, right? It was a bottle in the reward box. Yeah, and then Dio couldn't couldn't see it, so then he needed a better look at it. Yeah. It was on the other side of the red door. I happened to notice Quark putting something in his pocket. He hid it? Whether or not that was his intention is unclear. I did not have the opportunity to ask, as he collapsed immediately afterwards. It didn't feel appropriate to go digging around in his pockets for it after that. And to be honest, it had also slipped my mind. We were rather preoccupied with getting him to the infirmary as quickly as possible. Who cares about the details? We have it! Hurry up and give it to him, Luna. Hey, hold on a minute! What about Alice? Does it really matter if she goes first or not? Um, I'm sorry, but I don't think we can do that. What? There's only enough here for one person. The only way we have to administer this is with the injection gun. And the way it functions, it uses a whole bottle each time you pull the trigger. In other words, we can't split the dose in two or something. Right. So how are we going to make a second one? While we all stood stunned, Phi moved. Stepping over to Quark, she quickly ran her hands through his clothes, then stepped back with a frown and a small shake of her head. Nothing. That one bottle was it. Do you think there might be some more back in the laboratory? No. Unfortunately not. No. Oh god. Just enough medicine for one dose. Only one person can be saved. Who should we give it to? Alice? Or Quark? What the hell is this? There's no way we're only going to save one of them! What are we going to do? Do I have to spell it out? We're going to save them both! How? And here's how we shift. That's... Um... I needed to calm down. Think. There had to be some way to save both of them. It was there. I knew it. Ig equals immunoglobulin. Do you know what immunoglobulin is? It's another name for antibodies. Some people have antibodies that can fight off Radical Six. IG Replicator? Replicator makes it sound like it makes copies of stuff. 
So it's like a copy machine. Yeah. Probably copies IG. Whatever that is. Any ideas? Who knows? Ice cream by the gallon? That's it! I've got it! The IG replicator in the laboratory! It's an immunoglobulin replication machine! Uh, what? If I told you, you had a nice antibody. <laughs> okay, interesting. Interesting name for an achievement. It can copy immunoglobulin. Antibodies! Luna said, just said Excelivir is made from antibodies. That means we can make more Excelivir. Hold on a moment. There is a strange device in the laboratory that says IG Replicator on it. Yes. Clover and I examined it thoroughly when we were in that room. But how do I know about it? Yeah, we never could figure out what it did, though. Exactly. My question is, how do you know about it, Sigma? There we are. I saw it. When I was in the lab... ...pretory. When was that? Um... Probably when you were looking for Alice, right? No. You was wrong. I hadn't gone to the laboratory when I was looking for Alice. I didn't think I'd ever been to the laboratory. So how did I know about the IG replicator? If what he's saying is true, then we should be able to duplicate the Excelivir. That would mean we could cure Alice and Quark. Hmm. Let's go have a look then. The laboratory, right? Yeah. No time to waste. We all nodded. Wait! We can't leave them here all alone. Luna, do you think you could stay behind and look after them? Oh, no! God damn it, why her? <laughs> oh, of course. I'd be happy to. Alright then, let's go. Oh, damn it! <laughs> I think there's going to be another lock where she's going to have administered the, uh, uh, tubo curarine, and I'm going to have to know about the solution for that one, too. But it has to be administered before the tubo curarine, right? Or can it be administered after? I don't remember. It might be both. Go into the lab. Go into the lab. Laboratory. Taking a sweet old time. So this is the lab, huh? Yes. Where's this IG replicator thing? Right over on the table. Right here. See? So this can copy the Excelivir? I think so. What are we waiting for? Calm down, alright? Don't rush me. I carefully lowered the small vial of Excelivir into the slot on the side of the machine. An empty vial already protruded from the other side. Presumably, that was where the duplicated Excelivir would go. Ready? When I push this button, it should... Skip it. Just press the damn thing. Right. And... pressed. So how many of these should we be making? Damn. It's an extensive process. D Did it work? Have a look. The empty vial has something in it now. And the vial Sigma used remains as it was. It does not seem to have lost any of its contents. Really? Huh. So it just reads it and then it somehow just produces more. So, uh, it worked? Would have been pretty bad if it hadn't. Alright, let's get this thing back to the infirmary. I reached down and pulled both vials from the machine, intending to slip them... deftly into my pocket? I don't know why I struggled to read that out. Like, I... I think my eyes were looking at it, and I was like, that's a different word entirely. No. <laughs> what happened? Ah, shit. What happened? 
Sorry. My hand slipped. You dropped one of them? Y yeah. Just one, though. What in the hell? What if you'd broken it, you idiot? Come on! If I'd broke- If it had broken, then we could have just made another copy. With what bottle? Before Tenmyoji could reply, Fai spoke. Uh, guys? That was delivered, like... Uh, that's not good. I was surprised to hear her voice coming from near my feet. I looked down to see her staring intently at something beneath the table. It slipped underneath the fucking table. You see? It did break. No, the vial's fine. See? Okay. She held it up in one hand, but didn't move her eyes. Then what the heck is going on down there? Yeah. Take a look. She slid back from the table, quickly and silently. The rest of us bent down to look. Wait. This is the number two bomb. Who's in here? Who's in the laboratory? K? K who and who? K Quark and it was uh I don't fucking remember. Whoa. Really? That makes two then. Guess K was right after all. So there were more bombs. So it would seem. Was this here when you guys came through the first time? No, it was not. Yeah, I didn't see anything. Okay, so it was... looked real hard. Huh. So who's been in... So Lona, my original suspicion of planting the bombs here. Then somebody must have said it while we were looking for Alice. Or maybe, yeah, same implication. It wasn't in the botanical garden, but it is now in here for some reason. Would do that? We were all out looking for Alice. It could have been any of us. No, not any of us. Wait, hold on. No, this was the route that we did find Alice in the botanical garden, but we didn't find the bomb at the same time. So it could have been Luna. Yeah. I was back in the infirmary. Mm -hmm. Quark was still out, so I was keeping an eye on him. Yeah, so Quark's not a in this. Tenmyoji's not a part so of this. So shouldn't consider you a suspect. Is that right? Yeah. Quark's off the list, too. But Tenmyoji, you have no proof that you spent the entire time in the infirmary, do you? Correct. What? You could have quietly made your way to the laboratory, planted the bomb. That's insane! Listen to yourself! There's no way in hell I'd have left Quark all by himself to go plant a goddamn bomb! Tenmyoji was still staring furiously at K when Clover spoke up. Hey, what's this thing? What are you messing with? I turned in time to see her grab something from under the table. It looks like a memory card. Huh. So time to slide it into the thing downstairs in the infirmary. Where was it? Um, right under the bomb. Under the bomb? So you like above it but under the table? under the bomb or what it was down on the floor under the table oh what could it have been put here by the same person who set the bomb by accident or on purpose there was nothing like it here when we examined this room <laughs> do you think they dropped it accidentally unless it was left here intentionally yes i imagine so what do you think's on it let's take a look could i see it for a minute yeah i guess so I plucked the card out of her hand and looked around the room. Nothing here. Nothing. Who's gonna speak up about the infirmary? Shoot. No dice. We'll need to plug it into something that can read memory cards, but I don't see anything here. So what do we do? Come on, if I knew I'd be doing it. Oh yeah, that's right. Minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. I forgot about this aspect. <laughs> All players, please enter your votes.
If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Uh, guys, I think maybe we should get back to the top floor. Yeah, you're right. We've got what we came here for. Um, what um, should we do about the, uh, bomb? Not much we can do except leave it here. Alice said it'd be dangerous to touch them. True, but... Drop it. We can talk about the bombs later. Right now we need to take care of Alice and Quark. Right. So we'll go back to the infirmary, give them the Accelivere, then head to the Floor A warehouse. I just thought about it. Was the bomb in the botanical garden that we found before, was that actually bomb two? Or was that bomb one? Bomb three was in the crew quarters. I genuinely cannot remember. Right. I feel like it was the same number, bomb two, it. but oh well. It might take a little while, but they should recover. Her voice was quiet as she backed away from Alice and Quark. In her mind, in her hand was the injection gun, and she's actually okay. She carefully removed the empty vial and placed it in, and placed it gently in the cabinet with the other one. While we were in the laboratory, Luna had moved Quark to a crude cot. They both looked peaceful as they slept. The madness I'd seen on their faces before was completely gone. Are they really going to be all right? Yes. The analysis I did on the files confirmed that the duplicate was real Excelivir. The original was genuine too, of course. Now that they've been treated... It's only a matter of time before the virus is eliminated. I believe so, yes. Oh man, what a relief. I was really worried. Clover grinned. Agreed. I gave her a reassuring pat on the back. Huh. Five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Alright everybody, we can be relieved later. Right now we need to get to the AB rooms and fast. Damn. Don't even have time to catch our breath. Not at all. Come on, let's go. The Floor A warehouse is waiting. So, are we actually gonna go through... ...white doors this time around? I know that we have, right? At least one, I think. Maybe a second one. No, we, we've solved one white door, went in to another one to input that username and password shit. I don't remember my numbers. Huh? Where's Tenmyoji? Uh, he stayed back in the infirmary. Wh what? Why? Well, when we were all heading out, I noticed he wasn't doing anything. Doing... anything. So I asked him if he was coming with us, and this is what I got. <sighs> I'm still worried about Quark and Alice. Gotcha. I think I'll stick around and make sure they're okay. I see. That means that Fi's only opponent will be Dio. One on one, huh? Ugh. That's cool. Nothing to worry about. I plan to choose Ally. You know why? Because I've only got one BP. Exactly. If you chose Ally and I betrayed you, your BP would drop below zero and... Well, we know what happens then. I don't trust this. I want to win, but I'm not that desperate. Yes, you are! Shut the fuck up! You see what I'm saying, right? <laughs> Tenmyoji and Dio are a pair. Tenmyoji only had one BP left. Since Dio said he's going to pick an ally, Fi can't really pick anything else. If she does, Tenmyoji will... <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me back up. Who had the one... Ten Miyoji only had one BP left. Okay. Uh, this is a scary situation to be in. It is. Someone's gonna die here. <laughs> Unless Dio is going to stick to true to his word for some fucking reason, but he didn't do it with me. Kay and I are gonna be going one on one too, right? Wait, but this is the route that he allied with Luna, right? So he's only at. Five. 
So there is no advantageous reason for him to betray this time around. Yeah. Since Quark's still sleeping. That is correct. How many BP do you guys have? I've got six. As do I. This will be a tough one then. If one of them can get the other to ally and then betray that person, the betrayer will have nine points. Or just both betray. Look, Kay, I know you don't really have any reason to trust me, but... I know. You would like us both to vote ally, yes? I yeah. I agree. If we were to both betray, then we would gain no points. We would lose nothing either, but that's hardly relevant. This, I think, is the most, like, gamble-worthy round. Like, this is the most, like, not high stakes, but, like, the most interesting of, like, what will people choose round. If both of us cooperate, then we will both gain two points, which is much more beneficial. Right. Okay, good. You're really gonna do it, right? Yes. Promise? Promise. And I'm low. One minute remains until Ambidex game polling closes. And I'm with Alice, I think? Who stole my points. And I went with... Who did I go with in this timer? I don't remember. Shit, this is bad. We need to move now. Indeed. Shall we? D.O.K., Fi, and Clover all took off immediately, heading into the different A.B. rooms. Counting from the left, Dio went into the room 3, K went into room 4, and Fi and Clover went into rooms 5 and 6, respectively. That left Luna and myself. And what do you think about taking the one on the far left? Sounds good. With that settled, we headed into the A.B. Uh, room number 1. Okay, I should trust her because... Like, she has, uh, much like Dio, she has no reason to betray me right now, right? And I've shown myself trustworthy in allying before. She's not going in? Oh, wait, are we... Uh, what? Or was Alice my opponent this round? Start... Did I go in with Luna? Until game closes. Luna was my pair partner, wasn't she? Yep. It's okay. probably a little late to say this, but who's up? You know Alice is still in the infirmary. Yeah. So and you're saying we should pick Ally, right? Since Alice is going to default to that anyway. Yes. I know. It's not really fair to betray somebody who isn't voting. Well. <laughs> Luna's face broke into a warm, happy smile. Not to be sappy, but it was like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. I grinned back at her before I knew what I was doing. For a minute, the nonary game didn't seem so scary. Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game holding closes. If my suspicion of her and the bombs weren't as high, Nine, like eight, she's the most seven, huggable person. Six, five, Except for Clover. Four, three, two, one. It's most advantageous for both of us. Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. All right, let's see the reality that is everyone else's. <laughs> Luna and I stepped out of the AB room. All right, let's go have a look at the results. Okay. Results from round two. Oh boy. Of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. I'm comfortable with my own, but everyone else's face.
I had a feeling. I had a feeling that this and this were gonna happen. You motherfucker. And huh. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait, hold on. What? Now that I'm paying attention to this, what? She just woke up and immediately came over here to betray my ass? Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. What? This is the quantum realm uh, timeline. So then how, what? Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. I didn't even pay attention for that. What? It wasn't possible. I blinked, rubbed my eyes, and looked again. No. That's... That's not possible. How can Alice's vote be betrayed? Is a question I would never know the answer to. Well, this one is acting fast. There was a sharp, quick pain in my wrist, barely even noticeable. I couldn't feel anything flowing into my veins, but I knew it was there. First would be the anesthetic soap oil. I blinked, and my vision started to blur. When I tried to think, it felt like my mind had been stuffed with cotton. My legs began to wobble, and gave out entirely as I crumbled to the floor. Sigma! Sigma! Hang on! Oh no! Sigma! Get up! Sigma! Sigma! Really, Dio? Huh? No. Why? My eyelids felt like they were made of lead, but I forced them open. Everything was growing blurry, but I noticed that the door to the second AB room was open. No one had gone into that room. I'd watched them all. And yet, there she stood. An apparition that couldn't possibly be real. What the fuck? Okay, so... Alice in the past is affecting my future? Or, no. Me in the future affects Alice in the past, so... Since she was... Oh god, Schrodinger's cat thing. Oh god, because technically it's a closed door, yeah. Alice. The world was gradually growing black, and my mouth refused to form words, but my head echoed with questions. How? Oh. Why? What was she doing there? Did she run in at the last moment after Luna and I entered our room? But even if she had, why choose Betray? Then the darkness closed over my mind as well, and my questions were gone forever. Wow. What a weird ending. I'm glad I noticed that before I clicked to go on, but I should have, like, realized it when I saw the Betray thing. <laughs> huh. Well... That's that. Um, if I'd like to, I could go back here and like choose the betray route of when I betray. Ooh, green door with when I'm in surplus. I just went in there with you into the archives. It would be Luna and Clover. Clover was in surplus. Luna was also in surplus. I could escape, I think, if I betrayed. Uh... You know what? Why don't I just do that to make it, like, more pleasing to the eye? Where did Alice go?
Hmm. What's this? What was this one? No one here, huh? Oh, yeah. No, I, I remember what this one was. I experienced this one not too long ago. This was when I found her body. The world suddenly shifted. Damn, where did she go? Oh, am I going to run over there? Just for an instant. I was somewhere else entirely. My mind reeled, and then just as I'd begun to adjust, it was gone. As if nothing had happened. I'm going to go stop her from doing that? What? what was that? It was the same sensation I'd felt when I saw the vision of the bombs exploding. Had it been a premonition? This is bad. I need to find Alice now. But where could she be? Damn it, Alice. Where are you? I'm going. Crew quarters. What about the crew quarters? Yeah. Yeah. That has to be it. No lying down on the job. So could I have fucked up there? I set off at a dead run. So I think it would have been like the same result. Like I just stumble upon her dead body had I chosen any of the bad routes. But since I know exactly where she's going to be, I can go there instead. I set off at a dead run. And I'm going to leave this episode here. I don't want to expose any more routes for now, but I have someone who's patiently waiting at my uh, recording door who has to go potty. So, if you'll excuse me until the next episode, thank you for coming out. In the meantime, have a nice day. You have to go potty? Yeah?